Hey, what's up my fish tank guys and girls? Today we're gonna be doing an update on the 29 gallon BioCube. It's been about a month, a month and a half since my last update when I went through and I did a bunch of water changes to try to improve the quality of the aquarium, the look, cut down on algae, all that stuff. So let's see if those water changes helped and also if I've kept up with it since then. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by taking you guys through all the coral in the tank, starting with the pieces of coral that have been in the tank the longest, and then I'll work my way up to the new pieces, some of which you can probably see already. Now the first one I'd like to take a look at is the SPS coral. When I last showed the BioCube, a lot of this was bleaching away, and as you can see now, a, the color has returned to a lot of it. So definitely doing water changes and improving water quality can recover, help a coral recover. Um, if a coral starts bleaching, that does not necessarily mean that it's a lost cause. So this coral is looking much better. Now on to the flowering cabbage leather here. This thing is huge, it's growing again. I'm going to have to break off more pieces because it's gonna start to block light for the coral below it. But overall, it's doing well, it always does well. As you can see over here, my frog spawn is doing pretty good also. I lost two heads on the top of it. I have no idea why. One of the heads in the front on the right side was actually starting to retract and I direct fed it a little bit and now it's come back. So the frog spawn is doing really good. Now below that, you'll see the war coral here is expanding and encrusting onto the rock, which is awesome. I do have a little bit of flesh that has retracted on the bottom there, I'm not sure why. Could have been a hermit crab or something that started getting to it, but I think my recent water change that I just did will probably help that a little bit. Now over to the other side, I've got my Kenya tree here. This thing has never been quite as puffed up and large as it used to be with my old power compact lights. I don't know if the LED lights are just a little weaker and it doesn't quite like it or it doesn't like the flow, but even though it's not puffed up all the way, it still looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's shriveled and dying, so I'm happy with it for the most part. Now onto the new stuff. This guy right here is a green mushroom. I actually had it in one of the pieces of rock, but it fell out and I just haven't gotten into picking it up, but I'll put that in the back somewhere and hopefully let that grow across the rock. Now you'll see here, I have some purple monster zoas. These are pretty cool. There were actually only two of them when I bought them. Now there's four. You can see that they're extended quite a bit, which means they're like grasping for light. So they probably could use a little bit more light, but they're doing okay just now and they're multiplying. So I'm happy with them right now for the time being. Okay, so next you'll see I have a little patch of GSP here. A lot of people go, ooh, GSP, yikes. Uh, that thing is gonna expand and grow. Actually, I would like it to expand and grow. I'm okay with GSP basically taking over the whole front face of the left rock. I'm okay with that. I've never had a piece of GSP do well, so I'm hoping this one does well and expands and grows and I'll deal with the repercussions you know, when I get there. But for now, I like it where it is. It gets good flow, it looks nice, and I, hopefully it'll eventually cover this rock. Last but not least, I have a really large piece of Xenia here. Again, many aquarium folks be like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? That thing's gonna expand like crazy. Again, I'm kind of okay with that. This, this perch underneath um, the top rock here does not get a lot of great light. Xenias do pretty good in pretty much any condition, and I would be okay with the entire opening kind of being covered with Xenia on the bottoms and up the side, and then the fish could swim through the middle. I think that would kind of be cool, so I'm okay with that also. So in general, the BioCube is looking really nice. The power head on the right, I replaced with one of those Sun Sun JVP 110, I believe, uh, power heads. That thing is only like $8 and it pushes out a good amount of water. I actually had it positioned pointing up at the surface, but what I noticed that was causing um, was the sand in the front left corner of the tank would kind of blow away and you could see the egg crate and everything. So I positioned it a little bit better and now the sand is a little more stable. So actually behind the scenes, I tried to put my nano protein skimmer in the middle chamber in the back. And to be honest with you, I just don't like it there. It's kind of noisy. It doesn't work that well. It's hard to manipulate and move. A lot of people online say that you can put that nano skimmer in a bio cube and you can, but it's not ideal. 
metal. So I'm just gonna keep going with the media basket and some chemical filtration back there. I'm not gonna worry about a protein skimmer. I'm just gonna keep up with my water changes the way that I should be doing. So overall, I think the BioCube is moving in the right direction. I like the way it's looking. I don't have to clean it nearly as often. And if I do those water changes once every couple weeks, everything is looking pretty nice. Okay, so that's all I've got today on the BioCube. What do you guys think? Do you think adding GSP and some Xenia is a good idea? Is it gonna overtake everything? Am I gonna be able to keep up with it? I don't know what's going on. Also, I'm actually thinking about also getting a 16 gallon BioCube, which I would call baby BioCube. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to be giving away some lights in the next couple months, so stay tuned for all that. I've got a lot of awesome giveaways on the way and that's pretty much all i've got so until a future fish tank guy video i will see you guys soon <laughs> oh boy, you're gonna make me fall in love with dogs, you silly. How are we doing guys? Beautiful, huh? She's a cutie pie. So maybe, you know, a lot of people...